Welcome back to Southern Exposure at the United States Botanic Garden Conservatory. I'm Deputy Executive Director, Dr. Susan Pell, and today we're gonna to talk again about Magnolia ashii. You may remember in an earlier video, I featured uh, this plant and talked about its wonderful buds. Here we have a flower bud. It's got its nice protective bud scale on it. But today I wanna to talk a little bit about its flower morphology. You can see it's in bloom right now and it has these gorgeous, enormous flowers. Just to give you an idea, here's my hand. These are larger than a dinner plate, very large flowers, one of the biggest in the Magnolia genus. The center here, we can see the reproductive structures. This is kind of a combination of the gynecium, the female part, and the andresium, the male part. And right here, these little things sticking out on the sides there, those are the stigmas, so the part of the female part that's receptive to pollen. And then down below them are these lovely things, which are falling off right now. This is a little bit of an older flower. These are stamens. And on their tips, these little tips here, we can see the anthers where the pollen is produced. And right now they're all falling off because this flower is done producing its pollen. And soon the petals will fall off. You can see it's got these beautiful white petals with these nice purple markings here. Those are probably attracting pollinators. And then if we look underneath, we can see some of those uh, bud scales that were protecting the flowering, the flower bud as it was developing. And then we can see these big sepals here as well. So we've got three sepals and three petals there. And eventually this is going to form a fruit and you can see some young fruits developing. So here's what it looks like after the petals and sepals fall off. And all of the stamens, or almost all the stamens, just a few more, have fallen off of here. And they leave these wonderful little scars. And you can actually see those on the stalk of the fruit when the fruit develops. You can see that on pretty much all magnolias. And then you can see these large scars here. This is where a petal was attached. And that big one is where a sepal was attached. And these little smaller ones down here are where the bud scales were attached as they protected that developing flower bud. Thank you for joining me today and I look forward to our future botanical adventures.